channel thank you so much for stopping by today I'll be showing you guys how to do this orange rustic look and this would be typically a fall autumn kind of look but I just wanted to use some oranges in my makeup look today so that's what I did and before we get started I want to show you guys this is my hair it's grown quite a bit uh, that's the back so this is my hair natural this is not a wig this is the length it's not naturally straight but this is what it looks like when it is blow dry and flat iron so if you guys like to see how i get this look please stay tuned and keep watching so quickly people are always asking me if my nails are real because they are quite long and in the next video i'll be doing some nail stuff i really want to do some nail stuff for you guys so let me just give you a quick showcase of what my nails currently look like and the length this has taken me about i think three months to grow it just grows fast it is what it is they're strong they're hard they don't break so let me do a quick close-up for you guys So to prime my face I'm using the Yardy London Color Correcting Primer and just rubbing that all over my face and giving it a few minutes to settle in before I start with my foundation. For foundation today I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Stay Fresh Foundation in the color Hazelnut and I mix that in with some Stage Line Fluid Makeup Foundation and the number is 04. I'm using a stippling brush just to blend that foundation in. I didn't have a beauty blender because they were all being soaked. So this is what I'm using just to blend my foundation in today. For highlighter, of course, I'll be using the LA Girl Pro Conceal HD Concealer and this is in the color nude and almond I'll first be going in with nude and then just with a little bit of almond over top so that it is not as light as it is right now To bake today I'll be using the Ben 9 Luxury Banana Powder and using a wedge I'll just be placing this over my highlight and leaving it on for about 3 minutes just so that it can sit and set properly for a flawless finish. While I wait for my highlight to set I'm going in with some loose powder and just setting my foundation and now I'm going in with a small brush and just brushing off the powder that I used to bake the highlight. So to get started I'm using a loose powder and just setting my lids with some powder for ease of blending my eyeshadow. Starting off with Benefit Cosmetics Hula Bronzer and I'll be using a fluffy blending brush and using this in my crease as the transition shade. As you can see I'm using a windshield wiping motion just to get that color into my crease. Over that I'm going in with MAC Cosmetics eyeshadow and this is in the color cork. Using the same brush I'm going over the Hula Bronzer that we applied previously. To add the rust to this look I'm using the L'Oreal blush and this is in the color amber. Again using the same blending brush and going over top this is layering it over the Hula Bronzer and the MAC shadow that we just placed before. So for the rust color on our lids we'll be using the Morphe 35O palette and using this orange rustic shade at the bottom of the palette. 
going in with a small brush to give the highest pigment I'll just be applying that onto my lids this does have a lot of fallout so I'm just working slowly in placing that shadow down To get a higher pigment, I'm just using my fingers and brushing that all over my lids in the same color and I'm trying not to stab myself in the eye. So to darken up the outer edge of my crease, I'll be using the MAC shadow and this is in the color Carbon. Using another blending brush, I'm just applying that shadow to the outer edge of my crease and then on the outside I'll apply more pressure than what I do when I blend closer to the inner corners of my eyes. Use a blending brush and blend that in with the three colors we placed before. To give my brow bone a lift, I'm using the color Brulee by MAC. You can use any color that is not as pigmented. Of course, for my liner today, I'll be using the Inglot Gel Liner and this is in number 77. Using a tiny liner brush, I'm just lining my eyes and creating a small thin wing and this required a lot of concentration as you guys can see. So slowly do that and in another video I will show you a step by step process. For mascara, Revlon All-in-One Ultimate Mascara and I'm applying this to both my top and lower lashes. So on my lower lash line, I'm placing the same colors I did on my lids and I'm just smoking that out and then going in with black and smoking out my lower lash line. To line my waterline, I'm using the MAC liner pencil and this is in the color Teddy. So now that my liner is placed down, I can just darken up the crease where I need to and then blend that out. For lashes today, I'll be using the Mistress Lashes and this is by the Crease Nation brand. And using my finger, I'm just lightly pushing that up. To highlight the inner corners of my eyes, I'll be using the LA Girl Glam Beauty Brick. Using the same highlighter, I'll go and highlight my cheekbones as well as my nose. Using this darkest shade from the same palette, I'll just be contouring my cheeks and my forehead and my nose. I feel paralyzed. And now using a clean brush, I'm just blending that in. Now I'm using the Wet n Wild blush, I can't remember the name but I will put it down in the description box and I'm applying it to the apples of my cheeks and my cheekbones. Set everything, I'm using the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus Spray. To line my lips, I'll be using the Rimmel London liner and this is in the color Wild Clover. Over top, I'm going in with Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the color Miami Fever. 
be lying. I'm not a, a ghost love. Feels like someone cut out my tongue. I didn't know a heart could die this young. Oh, and now when I look in your eyes. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please go and give it a thumbs up down below. And then please also subscribe to my channel if you have not done so as well. Please leave me your comments in the comment section down below on what you think about this look. And also leave your comments if you'd like to see any other looks in particular. I will see you guys sometime in the next video. Have a fabulous week and enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. It is almost December. I'm so excited. I just want to go on holiday. Not that I'm going on holiday. I'm staying at home. But I am looking forward to relaxing. So, see you guys in the next video. Bye!